Hi Libra, welcome to your general reading for the first half of September. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome, welcome. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box for any and all information you need about me, readings, personal reading information, social media links, decks I'm using, tons and tons of stuff there. So please do go check that out, be greatly appreciated. And before we get started, Quick shout out to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Those who have reached out for personal readings and those who have blessed me with an energy exchange as in a tip or donation to the channel is very much appreciated. Thank you so much for all your support and helping to grow this channel. It's truly, truly appreciated. So the more you support it, the more we can get these messages out to the people that need to hear them, whether it's just giving it a like, a thumbs up, a subscription, sharing anything like that would truly truly help the channel grow so i can help more people and thank you so much for all your support okay for libra the first half of september general reading um i will read it as a general reading but if you can fit it into any kind of situation in your life then you're more than welcome to do to do that and if that includes a love situation of some kind then please feel free to fit it any way that it makes sense for you, any way you see fit. Okay, for Libra, first half of September. Hope everybody's doing well. Almost uh, coming into Libra season, what, next month? The end of next month. So in about a month or so, almost at the end of summer. All right, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see what's going on with Libra. So this is a Zodiac Oracle, so whatever we get here, if you don't resonate with whatever comes out, that's totally fine. This is sort of like a little extra bonus. And we have Mars energy, which is Aries energy, but it doesn't have to be. So Mars energy is competitiveness, it's assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, strength. So however that, if you're feeling any, any of those energies, uh, maybe you have Aries in your chart, uh, or you could have an Aries around you some way, shape, or form, a friend, a coworker, family member, or a significant other in some way. So, hmm, competitiveness, whoops. Competitiveness, assertion, aggression, courage, confidence, passion, and strength so it's all about determination and going after what you want taking charge taking the lead all right so that card wanted to come out so let's see so let's see what nurturing so in green the green border here is very much uh the energy of the heart chakra so you could be nurturing yourself or you could just have very nurturing relationships around you. You could also be nurturing certain relationships around you also. Hmm, nurturing. And the next card out was love. So for some of you, this could be about a love situation or you're feeling much more in a higher vibration of a more loving, caring, nurturing uh, energy to everyone around you. And on the bottom of the deck, we have a self-belief. So, and this is blue. So this is about uh, your throat, the throat chakra. So this is, you know, believing in yourself, believing in who you are, what you uh, stand up for, um, your belief systems, whatever they may be in your life. Believing in that, and that is who you are, and speaking with truth and clarity about who you are and what you believe in. Hmm for some of you. So I'm just curious what's under that one. Well, presence. Hmm. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what's going on with you, Libra. All right. Maybe we'll get more information about why this uh, Mars energy is here. All right. One more shuffle. Oops. Well, that wanted to pop out in reverse. So let me shuffle these one more time. I feel like that's part of the reading. Actually, these cards, it's the vice versa, so they have the right side up on one side and the reverse on the other side. 
So we came up reverse with the Five of Cups in reverse here. So, no, the Five of Cups upright talks about uh, sorrow, 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 sadness, loss, hurt, you know, feeling sad over something that maybe you had lost, person, place, or thing, feeling very sad, maybe lonely, but here, um, it's like you're ready to move on, you know, the, you see the flower here, um, I feel like maybe some of you have just maybe mourned something for a very, very long time. And now you're starting to see potential here with the rose that's in back of you. And uh, ready to walk on, walk away onto something new. All right, let's see what other energy is around you. What other energy is around you. First half of September, Spirit, please. One. So let's see, what is that? Okay, that's the star in reverse. So actually, I feel like you've, you've healed the star upright. So cups here is water energy. So now we have the star, which is Aquarian energy. And in the upright, it's about healing. Um, it's about faith, hope, optimism, being divinely guided um, here. But I feel like, you know, you've done your healing. You know, it might have been because you see some kind of a shadowy uh, figure there. So it could have been mourning over a loss. Uh, maybe you lost somebody here. And I feel like, you know, they're here to tell you they're fine. And uh, I think, you know, you're, you've done all your healing and you're just ready to move on. Although the star in reverse, I think it's like you're, for some, it could be um, still needing time to heal. But with that Five of Cups in reverse, um, it's like you're no longer feeling sad and lonely over something here. It's like now you're just concentrating on you, nurturing yourself, having that self-love and that self-belief. It's like you've already done all your healing work here. And it's like you're saying goodbye to this person. Like, you know, I've healed now and now I'm ready to move on in life. I'm ready to do me, take care of me, do what's best for me. And that Mars energy could just be the energy of Aries, which Aries in the uh, tarot is the emperor, who is about taking control, taking the lead, moving forward. So it could be just taking out control of your life. No more, you know, no longer uh, feeling sad and lonely and depressed and hurt and feeling all that sorrow and loss. All right, so let's get one more. Oh, it's way too many. It's way too many. Okay, we have two here. So now we have the Seven of Swords. So this is, um, can be a kind, it's your energy, that's your energy. So Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. So Seven of Swords just kind of thinks, kind of talks about being, um, you know, sometimes can be like trickery or deceit or self-deceit or sneaking away. You know, it looks like he's stealing these swords and like sneaking away. Um, I don't know why that's here. Um, I feel like you're just ready to move on. It's like you, you're turning your back now on um, all the hurt and sorrow. Not turning your back on all the hurt and sorrow, but just kind of like you know, I've healed, I've come to terms with the situation, uh, and I'm ready to move on. So it's like taking all the lessons you've learned from that experience and now just uh, moving on. Because it would be the Six of Swords before the Seven. And I feel like the Six of Swords should be here, but um, it's not. We got the Seven instead. So just be careful of your energy that you don't get in, you know, a self-deceitful kind of energy where you maybe for some of you um, maybe you still need more healing and maybe some of you don't maybe you've already done all your healing and you're just moving on in life so I think this is I'm getting two stories here some of you have done all your healing work and you're ready to move on and move forward in life and new possibilities as some of you are um, lying to yourself that you've completely healed and gotten over the situation when you haven't so now we have the four of cups so again 
The Four of Cups upright is, you know, feeling melancholy and bored about love in general. But now it's like you're not even in the pic this picture anymore of feeling bored and lonely. It's like you've got on that ship now and you're moving on. You're just moving on in life, I feel. For some of you, taking control, taking the lead, you know, going on a new journey in life, new direction for some of you. So now we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So the Ten of Pentacles upright earth energy here speaks of, you know, total completion of happy home and family, security, stability, um, long-term growth, you know, happy home and family life. But in reverse, it's like just, it's not quite there yet. So I do feel like some, like some of you on this side are not quite there yet you're not completely healed you're not completely over this you haven't dealt with it completely maybe you're just in the beginning stages of healing but you're some of you are, are deceiving yourself that you are healed when you're not and if for a group of you you are completely healed and you're moving on into new journeys maybe even new love relationships in your life and some of you still need more healing all right so what is the say what is the actual situation so we have the knight of wands okay so we have the knight of wands the knight of pentacles and now we have the four of pentacles so the knight of wands so this is the group of you over here that are taking these new exciting passionate adventures in life going on new endeavors here getting on this ship here and moving forward into new adventures and moving on in life on this side over here and for some of you over here you're four of pentacles here you're still stuck <laughs> you're still stuck you're still um you're still holding on to whatever happened to you and not letting it go even though you think that you have and you're healed you're some of you for a group you're not whatever your situation was if it was a loss of some kind uh like a physical loss of a loved one or a breakup of a friendship or a loss of a job or a breakup of a relationship you know like a love relationship whatever here some of you are completely healed moved on ready and you're going on new passionate exciting adventures in life and love and a group of you here still need healing and still need to deal with the situation that uh, some of you could have been a work situation on this side because we have pentacle pentacle you know, maybe something deceitful helped happen to you in your work environment and it really hurt you deeply here. And uh, you're still not quite over it yet. Even though you think you are, I don't think you, um, even though you think you are, I don't think you are. And then in the middle here, we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles, Earth energy here, which is a very slow moving energy. So it's about stability, security, growth expansion um so and that's right in the middle of your spread so for a group of you it was a very long process healing over the situation and being able to move on in life in new directions and for some of you you're still in that slow deep healing process so i'm getting two storylines here uh so so let's get more clarity on that more clarity on that. So I don't usually get, well, yeah, sometimes I do get um, two storylines. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. One more. One more for clarity on the actual situation and that you know the situation could be anything I just feel like it was a difficult um, time uh, a betrayal an ending a physical loss of some kind whatever it was for you some of you uh, I do believe it was work related some of you it could it could have been an ending of a friendship or something like that or just an actual physical loss of somebody so now we have, well, we got two in reverse. So we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. And we have the Two of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling definitely here with the Two of Cups in reverse here. Uh, you know, this can speak, see the stars, they are still healing. 
So for a group of you over here, you're still trying to align with your uh, healing process with, you know, coming to terms of what happened and, um, you know, getting back like into reunion with yourself and, you know, realigning with yourself, trying to find that peace, harmony and balance and self-love again within yourself and dealing with this, whatever happened to you. But then over here we have the Ace of Wands in reverse. You know, the Ace of Wands talks about passion, exciting new endeavors, beginnings uh, of some kind, but it's in reverse here. So, and you see the lightning striking there. Uh, so, and this is over here for this group. So, Hmm. I think may I'm just getting that it hits you like a lightning bolt because you see the fire there you see the fire there that you're just uh, going full force here in life again like you had that big epiphany light bulb moment that you need to move on you need to do new things in life you're creating you're in the process of creating new exciting beginnings and adventures for yourself just creating that new in that new creative process. It's not, not quite there yet, or you haven't quite um, accomplished this new beginning yet, Has, hasn't really gotten off the ground or gotten started yet. Maybe it's still in the planning phases, whether it's going on vacation, maybe going on a cruise or going something like that. You're still like in the planning phases, like you've, boop, you've had this idea, but it's not quite into fruition yet. So let's see what the advice is now. So now we have the Queen of Pentacles. Let's get one more. That's Earth Energy. And then we have the Emperor. So, <laughs> and there's the Aries Mars Emperor Energy that I had spoke about at the beginning. And the Queen of Pentacles, wow. So this is taking control, taking charge, um, of your life, of your stability, of your structure, your basis, your foundation. The Empress here, uh, no, the Queen of Pentacles, uh, is very uh, stable and grounded. She's secure. She can stand on her own two feet. She's self-caring, nurturing, as we have nurturing here. So your advice is to keep going on the path you're on of healing, being caring, giving, and nurturing, uh, taking control of your life, knowing your worth, your value, having this stability now back in your life you see the um i don't know what that is if that's a hawk or something uh so seeing thing all things clearly with like that hawk's eye here so some of you that are still healing you know take control of that and realize that you still need more healing know your value your worth some of you that are completely healed keep on going moving on taking control and knowing your value, your worth, your self-belief, your self-love, being in that nurturing Queen of Pentacles energy. All right. So we have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like that belongs over here because this is the minor of the Nine uh, of the Empress. And I keep wanting to call the Queen <laughs> of Pentacles the Empress, which the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles is sort of like both the Empress to me, but this is in reverse. So some of you here on this side, again, still aren't quite stable yet and grounded yet. You're still in that healing process. Because the Nine of Pentacles upright is someone who's very, is like the Queen of Pentacles, very stable, secure, and grounded, can take care of themselves, has growth and abundance, is single energy. All right, so can we have another one to clarify here for Libra? So the Queen of Cups, water energy, but it doesn't have to be. So again, I definitely feel like this group on this side, this is the self-love, being in that loving, caring, nurturing, compassionate, giving, um, sympathetic kind of energy now. Totally, this, this side, it's like this side is totally healed and transformed and starting new beginnings and having sparks and ideas of creative new endeavors, just exciting new things that they want to do. And they're creating their journeys here and they're moving on in life. 
and this group over here still needs to take charge of their situation and realize that they're not completely over whatever happened and they need more healing. Wow. So what is the outcome for a Libra here? What is the outcome for Libra here? The outcome for Libra in their situation here. Please, Spirit, thank you so much. All right, I'm going to take that one. What do we have now? So we have the Page of Pentacles in Reverse. So, you know, this is again, Pentacles are about stability, time, patience, uh, security. And this is usually uh, communication coming in. It can also be about education and learning, about children, stable offers or communication of some sort here. But in reverse, um, I'm just feeling like some of you here, especially on this side, aren't ready yet to extend out any kind of or ad adventure onto any new things in your life, even if they seem secure and stable, um, not quite ready to grasp that and take on any new ideas, offers, or something that come into you. I think you're still kind of, uh, still kind of stuck, like still trying to get um, over whatever happened here and you're not ready to extend anything out or have anything come into you. You're taking a very, very slow, practical approach. All right, what else do we have here for the possible outcome? How about this side over here? What is their possible outcome? These people, this group, I feel like I'm talking to two groups here, like I'm doing two re different readings here. So, yep, so now we have the night no, it's the page, oops, the page of wands upright. So now this is, you know, extending out an offer, uh, communication or communication coming into you about exciting new things, uh, endeavors, um, ideas, um, pa just very passionate energy. You could be communicating to friends, family, or, you know, making plans with, even your partner or your friend or your family member about these new adventures here that you want to set sail on. And here's a passionate, exciting communication here for some, I feel for this group over here, but <laughs> this group over here, you have the tower here. And I don't know if that's in reverse. But yep, I feel like here you're still trying to get over this tower moment and that's Aries energy here. So Aries, so whatever big shake up or explosion that happened in your life here, uh, yeah, the divine is here to say you're not quite over this yet, over this tower moment, or you're just going through it now or whatever here, this, this side definitely is still going through it and healing and trying to recover. This side is totally recovered, healed, and moving on and going in whole, all new kind of directions here. Love, passion, excitement, new beginnings, creating new beginnings. The side stuck and still healing. So look, um, now we have temperance. So, you know, gaining Sagittarius energy here, gaining balance, healing, uh, divine energy here, time and patience. For this group over here, you had time and patience with yourself as you healed. This group over here still needs more time, patience, and healing. The sun, so, in the upright. So, no matter what here, with these two groups here, there will be success and total healing, uh, growth, expansion, success and victory, enlightenment, happy home and family life, moving forward. The five of swords in reverse so again i feel like for a group of you you know you i think for this group over here you're kind of like maybe you're halting your healing process in some way like turning your back on it and not dealing with it at times and this group here i think 
you know, laid down all the swords here that they don't need anymore. And they've learned all their lessons and they healed and they're just moving on. And there's the chariot energy. Upright. So again, moving in a more positive direction. Being balanced. So no matter what, with these two groups, one is more ahead than the other. But here is the uh, equal balance moving forward. Success and victory um, moving forward. So the chariot cancer energy. So there is positive movement forward and uh, total enlightenment, healing, success, victory, patience, time, and balance for the two groups, I feel. Seems like a very random kind of mixed message for two people, for two groups of people, but you know, it is what it is. Okay, what do you draw? So let's see what advice guidance we have for you Libra for your situation what advice and guidance do we have for Libra wow okay well these two cards did you see those fly out here the hawk prince spirit communication paying attention and that's number 11 which then reduces to 2 which is about again you know about union and partnership, people coming together, seeing eye to eye, peace and harmony, friendships. So, you know, you could be very spiritual here. Connect part of your healing may have been uh, connected to your faith and your spirituality here. And really paying attention to that, to how your those deep feelings and letting spirit and the divine energy here help to nurture and heal you. And then we have the Phoenix, Resurrection, Surrender to Change. So some of you here are rising out of the ashes here, like the Phoenix here, having your resurrection and your healing and surrendering to change and moving on. So you got 29, which is 11 again. So we have 11 twice here. We have 11 twice. Two, two, four, which is about stability in your foundation and basis. So... I do feel like they, there will be very stable energy here. Some here are already in that energy. Some here are heading, still working on getting to that energy. All right, so, oh, that one wanted to, all right. So we have the web weaver, synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. For again, with stability, so, <laughs> wow. So everything is about divine timing, uh, divine source, listen, you know, paying attention to that energy, uh, divine spirituality. Everything happens for a reason with the cause and effect here. And it's all about to make you stronger, to make you uh, more stable and grounded in the long term. It may not feel like that, but everything happens for a purpose. And it's, um, I think, to make you stronger inside, to have more self-belief, self-love for yourself, to nurture yourself and care for yourself more and be able to take the lead, take control of your life more, whatever your situation was that happened to you. And we have the sun dancers. So we have the sun over here and we have the sun dancers again. And we have 32, which is five, which is about change. So big changes, I feel, going on for you here, Libra. Could have been past energy. Uh, I'm picking up on, you know, I always could pick up on past, present, future kind of energy. So however, however it resonates for you. The sun dances, joyful activity, celebration of life, abundance. Exactly. It's the energy of the sun again. A feeling joyous and happy. Having celebrations of life. Having growth and abundance happy home and family having that spiritual sort of awakening here of enlightenment yep okay libra uh if i hope this resonated for you i see big big uh changes healing uh over something tragic that happened to you and coming out that much more balanced and stronger and um having you know much more belief in yourself and self-love 
and being able to take more control over your life for some of you. Okay, I hope this resonated for you. If it did, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings, so don't miss out on that. I do bi-weekly general and love for all the signs. Um, if this didn't resonate for you, you could check the description box below for past playlists. You may find something in there that resonates for you. I'd say disregard the dates on them. And if you resonate with the title, there's probably a message in there for you. I'd say go ahead and watch it anyway. So good luck to you here, um, Libra. And I'm sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, is to always, always, as with the sun, shine your light.